Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the workshop. This is part 78 of making a mountain bike. On the previous episode, I laid 284 yoga sapphires into the frame. Unfortunately, on the 284th, I slipped and made a slice in the top tube. So we're going to have to start on the mountain bike yet again for the seventh time. But before that, I want to give it a quick shout out to the rest of the team here. So we have Will Stettler, who is uh, my accomplice, you know, my partner. He's very, very talented bladesmith. We have Isa Aya, who is the uh, videographer who films all of the videos. We have Kaylin, who is the photographer and the social media manager. And then we have JB Popple, who is the editor and, you know, the, the brains behind the scenes as such. So without further ado, let's jump straight back into making a seventh frame. So previously, we've been making the frames out of stainless steel butted tubing. But uh, it hasn't been going very well, so I'm actually going to use this. Now this was recommended to me by the Bicycle Academy of the Wolves Head School of Bicycles and Two-Wheeled Vehicles. But this is called, it's called PE Insulation. Now, it's a very, very, very rigid material and it's brilliant for making mountain bikes out of. Um, and one of the great characteristics is it actually bends, you see. It's, it's, it has like a, a built-in suspension. So, let's uh, measure some tubing and uh, start cutting. Right, so we've got most of the frame ready to go. Um, it's now onto the welding. More or less, apart from up here at the seat post, I actually bought this, which is, it's a prefab. Basically the seat post will go through here, down through the top, and then this will connect to the top tube um, via weld, and this is push fit onto the seat post. So let's have a look at that and see how that fits. Right, so this prefab here was sent over to me by the lovely folks over at Spokesy Folks People. And um, let's see what they've built for us. It's made out of a very uh, high-tech material, actually. I'm not sure. I think they called it plastic. And in theory, we should be able to just get our seat tube, undo this, and then simply push fit into here. And it's uh, watertight, so when I'm going through swamps, it is uh, going to protect me from the elements. So we pop this straight on there. We simply push up and twist. And there you are. So make sure you go and follow the guys over at Spokesy Folks People because they've been a brilliant help with this project and uh, very excited to see how this works with the seat post design which I have in store for you later. So with all that said, let's do some welding. Why is welding so bloody hard? You've got to make it perfect. You've got to make the welds all lovely. <sighs> Kevin, can you give Jason a call from Fireball Tool? See if he'll come and weld this up for me. Right, so the welding went quite, I can't, I can't see a bloody thing. The welding went quite well. <clears throat> we have the frame all put together now. And uh, it's looking rather good. The next thing we need to work on is of course the seat post and I actually have quite a good idea for that. Uh, but first of all, Will wanted to do something to do with nuts. So let's have a look at that. Yeehaw, my name is Will Stepper and this is Mixed Nut Trick. Sh Son of a gun. Well, that was just bloody marvellous, Will. Thank you very much for that segment. Um, so as I was saying, we need to work on the seat post. And for that, I'm going to use this material here. It's called a pinny. And it's uh, like a, it's a, it kind of looks like wood, but it's incredibly strong, but very, very lightweight. And then on the top, we will cut and we'll have our seat 
mounted right there. For the seat, I wanted something obviously nice and spongy, something soft and foamy, which will reduce the impact on my bottom and also be very comfortable for riding. So I actually found this, um, some sponge, and I'm going to use this as the seat. So the next stage is going to be cutting the pinny down and attaching the seat to the, uh, to the pinny. So there we go, we have a seat on a post. Um, I have a little bit of glue splatter here, but once I fall off on the gravel a couple of times, that'll come straight off. Next episode, we need to figure out how we're going to secure the seat itself, because currently it's just not really held there by anything. We're also going to work on the forks. Now I actually have the forks here, but I feel like they might be a little bit short. They fit in nicely, but I'm not sure how we're going to fit on the wheel. It seems like the clearance isn't really there for it. But just before we go, I want to give a quick shout out to today's sponsor, and that is you guys for supporting the channel, supporting the business. Head on down to alexsteelco.com. You can buy all sorts of merchandise on there and all sorts of tools that you use in this build, such as this, which is the welding machine I use today. Fantastic for MIG welding. You can also get TIG welding attachments for it. We also supply pinny, so if you want to make your own seat post out of this marvelous uh, material, you can pick up some pinny off there. The only thing we don't stock is actually the sponge, which I used for the, for the seat. But what you can do is if you go to your living room and you just unzip one of the cushions, you can take the innards out, and this is quite soft and firmy also, so that would also substitute for a seat if you don't have sponge available to you. But anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. I'll catch you on the next episode, so tally-ho and bye-bye. Uh, I'm Will, I'm Will Stettler. I'm Will Stettler. And this is Mixed Nut, Mixed Nut, Mixed Nut Trick Shots. Mixed Nut Trick Shots. Yeehaw. I'm Will Stettler. I'm Will Stettler. I'm Will Stettler. This is Mixed Nut Trick Shots. My name's Will Stettler, and this is Mixed Nut, Mixed Nut Trick Shots. <clears throat> and this is Mixed Nut Trick Shots.